सो हेलो एवरीवन कैसे हैं आप लोग उम्मीद करता हूं सभी अच्छे होंगे सो होप यू ऑल आर गुड एंड इन गुड हेल्थ आल्सो सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड द सॉल्यूशंस ऑफ ऑल द एक्सरसाइजेस ऑफ सीक्वेंस इन सीरीज चैप्टर सो टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट नेक्स्ट टॉपिक न्यू टॉपिक पर सर्कल्स राइट सो टुडे वी विल कवर द एक्सरसाइज वन ऑफ सर्कल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो लेट लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सो इट इज गिवेन दैट If x square plus y square minus two x plus two a y plus a plus three equal to zero represents a, a real circle with non-zero radius, then most appropriate is okay. So let me write the standard equation uh, of a circle. So this x square plus y square plus two g x. Plus two f y plus c is equal to zero, right? So uh, this is the standard equation of circle. So for this, the center of the circle is minus g comma minus f, right? And we used to calculate radius by under root of g square plus f square minus c. Okay. so uh, whenever we say that a real circle exist what does it mean it mean that the quantity under this uh, square root that is g square plus f square minus c this must be greater than or equal to 0 right then only the real circle will exist right no so uh, what's given here we will compare this with the uh, standard equation of circle so let me write the given equation of circle This is x square plus y square uh, minus two x plus two a y plus a plus three is equal to zero. Plus a plus three equal to zero. So from here we can see two g is equal to minus two. That gives g is equal to minus one, right? Two g is equal to minus two. so uh, from here uh, g equal to minus 1 similarly this 2f this 2f is equals to 2a we are comparing this equation with the standard equation of circle right so from here we get f is equal to a now what is c here c here is a plus 3 a plus 3 okay so from here we can say what will be the radius the radius will be Under root g square plus f square minus c. Now putting the value of g, f, and c here, we will get under root g square is nothing but one. F square is a square, and minus c is minus a minus three. So uh, the thing under this square, right? This must be greater than or equal to zero for a real uh, circle to exist. in fact it will not be equal to zero also because it is given that with non zero radius this radius cannot be zero so it must be greater than zero right so we can say uh, this a square minus a and 1 minus 3 is nothing but minus 2 right so a square minus a minus 2 this must be greater than zero for a real circle to exist With a for a real non-zero radius to exist, this must this quadratic must be greater than zero. So uh, let's factorize this quadratic. So this will be a square minus two a plus a minus two. This must be greater than zero. So then a into a minus two plus one, a minus two. This must be greater than zero. So the factors are a plus one and a minus two. Greater than zero. Okay, so we have to uh, solve this inequality, right? So let me first draw the critical points. So it will be minus one and two. Okay, 
So for a, any value greater than two, this whole thing will become positive. For uh, value between minus one to two, this will be negative. And uh, for the value of a less than minus one, this will be positive once again. So we need the positive value only. So the solution uh, set for this will be A belongs to minus infinity to minus one, right? Union two to infinity, right? So the option D is correct. Minus infinity to minus one union two to infinity. Right, so option D is correct for this question. Hope this is clear to all. We have uh, just compared the given uh, equation of circle with the standard equation and we uh, went on doing the things and the result came out. So uh, let's move to the next question, question number two. Now it is saying if the equation AX square plus two minus BXY plus three Y square minus six BX plus 30y plus 6b equal to 0 represents a circle, then a square plus b square is. Okay. So, I hope all are aware with the uh, general second degree equation. Let me write the general second degree equation. This general second degree equation. It is given by AX square plus 2HXY plus BY square plus 2GX plus 2FY plus C equal to 0. Okay. So this is the general degree, general second degree equation. Now, this general second degree equation will represent circle. This will represent circle for this uh, general degree equation to represent circle, two conditions are required. The first condition is A must be equal to B. Means coefficient of X, this coefficient of, uh, coefficient of X square must be equal to coefficient of Y square. And the second condition is the value of, the coefficient of uh, X, Y will be zero. That will be, means H is equals to zero. So these two conditions must satisfy. Then only this second uh, general second degree equation will represent circle, right? So for this, a coefficient of x square must be equal to coefficient of b square. Now what is coefficient of x square here? Let me write the uh, given uh, equation. Let me write the given equation. It is saying uh, a x square plus Two minus b x y plus three y square minus six b x plus thirty y plus six b is equal to zero. Now it is saying that it represents a circle. Then a must be equal to three. Means coefficient of x square must be equal to coefficient of b square. So from here a is coming out to be three. Right, coefficient of x square is equal to coefficient of b square, coefficient of y square. Sorry. From here we get the value of a as three, and this value, the coefficient of x y must be zero. This two minus b, that h must be equal to zero, right? So I'm uh, equating this two minus b equal to zero. From here we get b is equal to two. So what is asked in the question? Question is saying to find the value of a square plus b square. a square plus b square, we have to find the value of this. So what is a square? a square is no, uh, nothing but three square. And what is b square? That will be two, sorry. a is three and b is two, no? So three square plus two square, that will be nine plus four, that will be 30. So this is our answer. A square plus B square is equal to 13. This is our answer. So option B is correct. Okay. Moving ahead to the next question. Let's see question number three. Now the equation of circle passing through four comma five and having center at two comma two. Okay. 
So uh, let me draw the circle. So it is saying the equation of circle passing through point four comma five, and it, it is having center at two comma two. Okay. <clears throat> so this circle is having center at two comma two, and it is passing through a point four comma five. So let me consider this point as P. It is the coordinates of P are four comma five. Okay. And uh, let me represent it as uh, the center as O. The center is zero, uh, 2 comma 2. Okay. So now, uh, if we know the center of a circle, and if we know the radius of the circle, so we can write the equation of that circle as x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square. Right. We uh, generally use this equation if we know the center of the circle and radius of the circle. So here we know the center of the circle, right? Two comma two, and we also know the radius. How? The radius is nothing but OP. If we join the line OP, uh, sorry, if we join the uh, join the line OP, this will be the uh, radius. Sorry. Let me join this uh, these two points. Okay. So this OP is nothing but our circle. Sorry, sorry. Uh, this OP is nothing but our radius, right? Radius of this circle. So we can find uh, uh, the value of OP. OP is nothing but distance between two points, two comma two and four comma five. So uh, OP we can write it as four minus uh, two whole square, four minus two whole square plus five minus two whole square, five minus two whole square. This is OP and OP is nothing but R like this R. So R square we can write it as. So what will be R square? The, this square root will. Uh, we, get, we will remove this square it and it will become 2 minus 2 whole square that will be 4 4 plus uh, 3 whole square that is 9 so it will become r square will become 4 plus 9 that will be 13 so now we know the value of center also here h comma k h comma k the coordinates in this equation, the coordinates of center are h comma k. So uh, in our question, the coordinates are two comma two. So we will replace h and k by two comma two. So our required equation will be x minus two whole square plus y minus two whole square is equal to r square. What is r square? r square is thirteen. Now uh, let's open uh, this uh, squares. So this will be x square plus 4 minus 4x plus y square plus 4 minus 4y minus 13 is equal to 0. So this will become x square plus y square minus 4x minus 4y, 4 plus 4, 8 plus 8 uh, and minus 13. So it will be minus 5 is equal to 0. So x square plus y square minus 4x minus 4y minus 5 equal to 0. So option B is correct. This will be the required equation, the equation of the circle. Okay. So let's move to the next question. Question number four. It is saying the equation of diameter of the circle is given by. Okay. So, uh, one equation of circle is given. The equation of diameter of the circle. Okay, let me cut these words. The circle equation is given, right? The equation of diameter of the circle, this is the equation of circle, is given by. And we have to find the uh, equation of diameter of this circle. Okay, so let me write the equation of circle first. It is x square plus y square minus 12x plus 4y 
plus six is equal to zero. So uh, we can find the center of this circle, right? So comparing with our standard equation of circle, we get two G is equals to uh, minus 12. So G is equals to minus six and uh, two F is four here. So F is equals to two. So what is the center of this circle? The coordinates of center of this circle is minus G comma minus F, right? So uh, the coordinates of uh, center of this circle is six comma minus F, six comma minus two, six comma minus two. So this is the coordinates of center. Coordinates of the center of circle. Coordinates of the center of the circle. Now, if one circle is there, the uh, diameter will always pass. Dia will always pass through the center. Diameter will, will always pass through center. Right? If diameter will pass through center, then the given equation uh, of diameter will satisfy this point. So let me check whether uh, this uh, option A is satisfying this point. X is uh, 6. And what is y plus y means minus 2. That is not coming out to be 0. So option A is wrong. Let me check option B. Option B is saying x plus 3y. So x is 3 here and y is minus 2. So minus 6 that is coming out to be 0. So option B is correct. Similarly, you can put for option C and option D also. C is saying that x is equal to y. That means uh, 6. Uh, is equal to minus 2, which is wrong. And option D is saying that 3 into x, that is uh, 3 into 6, and plus 2 into y. What is y? y is minus 2. So 18 minus 4, that is not equal to 0. So this is also wrong. So option B is correct. Option B is correct. This will be the equation of diameter. Equation of diameter of this uh, given circle. Okay, so let's take the next question, question number five. If the lines 3x minus 4y plus 4 equal to 0 and 6x minus 8y minus 7 are tangents to a circle, then the diameter of the circle Okay, so uh, two lines are given. This 3x, 3x minus 4y plus 4 is equals to 0. And uh, 6x, 6x minus 8y minus 7 is equals to 0. Okay. Okay, uh, if you are able to see these two lines are parallel. These two lines are parallel. Why? Because the ratio of A1 upon A2 is equals to uh, B1 upon B2. And that is not equal to uh, C1 upon C2. So these two lines are parallel. Right? And these two lines are uh, tangents also. So these two lines are Tangents also. So uh, let me draw. Let me draw the circle itself. So actually, these two lines are uh, tangents, and uh, the parallel uh, they are parallel also. So actually, the point of uh, chord of contact, the point of means what you say, the chord of contact of these two uh, tangents will pass through the center, and it will be diameter actually. 
it will be diameter actually right so actually uh, suppose i am taking this as uh, 3x minus 4y 3x minus 4y plus 4 equals to 0 this line as this and i am taking this line as 6x minus 8y minus 7 is equals to 0 so these points when uh, the point of contact of these two tangents will be joined it will pass through center so uh, center will lie here for this circle this will be the center now the question is asking the then the diameter of the circle means we have to find the length of the diameter of the circle okay so uh, suppose uh, we are having uh, a line of the form this one uh, this ax plus by plus uh, c1 is equals to 0 and one another line this ax plus by plus c2 is equals to 0 okay so uh, how to find the distance of uh, how to find the distance between two parallel lines for distance we uh, know that uh, distance is equals to the modulus of uh, c1 minus c2 upon under root of a square plus b square okay this is the distance between two parallel lines distance between uh, two parallel lines right uh, since we have already uh, covered the straight lines so hope you all are aware of this uh, aware with this formula so uh, for applying this formula uh, i have to what we do i have to make the coefficients of x and y equal in both the equations so uh, let me multiply the equation 1 by uh, 2 so i'm multiplying the equation 1 by 2 equation 1 into 2 i am getting this 6x minus 8y plus 8 is equals to 0 and uh, what is the equation 2 equation 2 is nothing but 6x uh, minus 8y minus 7 is equals to 0 okay now the coefficients of x and y in both the uh, equations in both the equations of lines are equal so we can apply this formula that will become uh, distance or distance between the parallel lines or uh, the length of the diameter is uh, under uh, the difference of the c1 and c2 that is uh, minus 7 minus 8 mod mod of minus 7 into minus 8 upon under root of a square plus b square that is nothing but 36 plus 64 so it will become mod of minus 15 will be 15 upon uh, this will become uh, under root of 100 that is 10 and it will be equal to 3 upon 2 so the distance between these two parallel lines the distance between these two tangents is equals to 3 by 2 and that will be the actually the length of the diameter also right no why because these two parallel tangents if uh, the points of contact is joined for these two uh, tangents, it will pass through diameter and it will be diameter one. That part of contact will be diameter one. Hence, uh, uh, the length of the uh, diameter will be three by two. So option A is correct for this. Now moving to the next question, question number six. Now area of circle in which a chord of length uh, root 2 makes an angle pi by 2 at the center okay. sorry <coughs> so one circle is there and it is saying area of circle in which a chord of length root 2 makes an angle pi by 2. Okay. One chord is there which makes an angle pi by 2 at the center. So uh, this is our required uh, chord basically. Right. This will be our required chord. It is of length root 2. Let me name it. This is A this is b and let me name it c so a b is equals to root 2 right and this angle is 90 degree this chord is a, a subtending uh, angle 90 degree at the center okay 
so uh, what is asked area of circle so we have to find the area of circle okay so what will be ac ac will be nothing but the radius of the circle only and what will be bc it is also the radius of the circle only so applying the pythagoras theorem in the uh, triangle acb in the triangle a c and b we uh, get r square plus r square is equals to root 2 square so it will be 2 r square is equals to 2 right so r square will become 1 and what will be the area area of circle what will be the area of circle area of circle is pi r square r is 1 here so area will be pi square unit right so option a is correct area is pi square unit now let's take question number 7 the lines 2x minus 3y minus 5 and uh, 3x minus 4y equal to 7 are diameters of a circle of area 154 square units then the equation of the circle is okay so it is saying one circle is there and uh, diameters, equation of diameters are given as like okay, uh, the lines, suppose I am taking this line as 2x minus 3y, 2x minus 3y minus 5 is equals to 0. And I'm taking this line as 3x minus 4y minus 7 is equals to 0. So these two lines are a diameter represents diameter of the circle and area of the circle is given. Area of circle is given as 154 square unit. So then the equation of the circle is, we have to find the uh, equation of this circle. Okay, since these two lines represent the diameters, so what will be their intersection point? Their intersection point will be center basically, right? Their intersection point, the uh, intersection point of diameters will be center of the circle. So uh, let me solve these two equations, this 3x minus 4y, 3x minus 4y, minus 7 is equals to 0 and uh, 2x uh, minus 3y minus 5 is equals to 0. Okay, so uh, multiply this equation by 2 and this equation by 3, we get uh, 6x minus 8y minus 14 is equals to 0 and this will give 6x uh, minus 9y minus 15 is equals to 0. Now, uh, subtracting equation 1 from equation 2, we get uh, minus 8y, 9y, this will be y, y, minus 8y plus 9y will be y minus, minus 14 plus 15, that will be plus 1. 15 minus 14 will be plus 1 is equals to 0. This gives y is equals to minus 1. Let me write it fresh. So this will give me y is equals to minus 1, right? Hope I have not done any mistake. This 9y minus 8y, y plus 1. So y is equals to minus 1. So uh, let me uh, put in equation 1. I will get uh, 3x plus 4 minus 7 is equals to 0. From here we get x is equals to uh, 3x is equals to uh, minus 7 plus 4. That will be minus 3. Uh, 3. From here we get x is equals to 1. So we got the center of the circle as 1 comma minus 1, right? 1 comma minus 1 is the center of this circle. And we also know the radius of the circle. How? Because the area is given, no? Since area is given, we know the area is equals to pi r square. 
and it is uh, given as 154 square unit. So uh, let me put pi is equal to 22 by 7. So our R square will become uh, 154 into 7 by 22. So let me cut uh, by 11. This will become 2, 11, 1, 4. So again, 7. So R square coming out to be 7 into 7. So R will, R is our 7. So radius is 7. Now, if the center and the radius is known, anyway, we can uh, uh, write the equation of uh, equation of the circle. The equation of circle will be x minus 1 whole square, x minus 1 whole square plus y plus 1 whole square. Center is 1 comma minus 1. So x minus 1 whole square plus y plus 1 whole square is equal to r square. What is r square? r square is nothing but 49. From here, we get r square as 49. So let's open it. It will become x square plus 1 minus 2x plus y square plus 1 plus 2y minus 49 is equals to 0. It is nothing but x square plus y square uh, minus 2x plus 2y plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 minus 47 is equals to 0. Right. So this is the required equation of the circle. So x square plus y square minus 2x plus 2y minus 47 is equals to 0. This is option number B, I think. So this is option number B. So D is correct for this question. Hope uh, everyone is understanding what we are doing here. Let's take the next question, question number eight. So it is saying if the lines this and this lie along the diameters of the circle of circumference 10 pi, then the equation of the circle is, it is same, it is same what we have done earlier also. Like these two equations are uh, given. 2x plus 3y plus 1 equals to 0. It lie along the diameters means what? The equation of the diameter will be same as what uh, it is given here. Okay. So uh, let me do it fatafat. This equations uh, given is 2x plus 3y plus 1 is equals to 0. And the another equation is given as 3x uh, minus y minus 4 is equals to 0. Okay. Uh, multiply this equation by 3. I get uh, 9x minus 3y minus 12 is equals to 0. Now add equation 1 and equation 3. We will get 11x plus 3y minus 3y will cancel out. 11x uh, minus 12 plus 1 that is uh, minus 11. So it will be 11x is equals to 11. From here we get x is equals to 1. Putting the value of x equal to 1 here, I will get 2 plus 3y plus 1 is equals to 0. So 2 plus 1, 3. So from here, we get y is equals to minus 1, right? So now we know the equation of the circle. Since we know the center of this uh, circle and we also know the radius. How radius? The circumference that... Uh, Circumference of radius is given as, sorry, circumference of circle is given. So this 2 pi r will be equal to 10 pi. So this pi pi will be cancelled. The, then the radius of circle will be 5. Right. So equation of circle will be uh, x minus 1 whole square plus y, y plus 1 whole square x minus 1 whole square plus y uh, plus 1 whole square is equals to r square that will be 25. So this will become x square plus 1 minus 2x plus y square plus 1 plus 2y minus 25 is equals to 0. This becomes x square plus y square minus 2x plus 2y plus 1 plus 1 uh, plus 2 minus 23 is equals to 0. This is same as the uh, last question. 
seventh and uh, is question number seven. So x square plus y square minus two x plus two y minus twenty three is equals to zero. So option A is correct. Now let's move to the next question. Question number nine. Now it is saying a triangle PQR is inscribed in the circle x square plus y square is equals to 25. If Q and R have coordinates 3, 4 and minus 4, 3 respectively, then we have to find the angle QPR. Right? We have to find angle QPR. So uh, let me draw what is given. So, it is saying one circle is given and one uh, triangle is inscribed in it. Okay. Let me draw once again. One circle is given and we have to draw a triangle inside it. So, I don't know why it's not moving. Okay, let me draw manually. Anyway, we can draw a circle itself. That will be easy for us. So I'm drawing one circle and I'm drawing uh, this triangle manually. So, uh, uh, So this is given as PQR. Okay. So a uh, triangle PQR is inscribed in the circle X square plus Y square is equals to 25. Equation of circle is given as X square plus Y square is equals to 25. So uh, what is the radius of this circle? The radius of this circle is 5. Let me assume this as center. So if I join this Q point with C, it will be radius. And if I, I join this C with R, this will also be radius. And we know the coordinates of Q and R. Coordinates of Q and R are given as 3, 4. And uh, Q co coordinates of Q are 3, 4. And coordinates of R is minus 4, 3, right? So uh, we have to find then triangle QPR, this angle, this QPR, this theta, we have to find the value of theta. Okay. Now we know this, uh, uh, this is the radius. CQ is the radius. So uh, this length will be five and this CR is also radius. So this length will also be five. And we can also find the uh, length of this QR. This since the coordinates of Q and R is known, so we can find the uh, length of QR. How this 3 minus 4, 7 is square plus 4 minus 3 whole is square, that will be 1 is square. So this will be under root of 50, and that will be nothing but 25 into 2, that will be 5 root 2, right? So the length of QR is 5 root 2. Now let me draw one perpendicular from this C. I'm drawing one perpendicular from the center of the circle to the chord Q1. I'm drawing one perpendicular. So if I'm drawing the perpendicular to the chord, it will bisect the chord basically. So let me uh, name this as C. So this QM will be equal to MR, right? This QM will be equal to MR and that will be equal to half of QR. And we know the value of QR from here. We know the value of QR. So it will be half of 
5 root 2. That is nothing but 5 upon root 2. So this QM, QM is equal to MR. So this MR uh, distance is 5 by root 2. So uh, if you see in triangle, in triangle CMR, I am applying Pytha, uh, Pythagorean theorem. So it will be CM square plus MR square is equal to 5 square, right? So uh, from here, we know the value of MR. So we can find the value of CM. So CM square is nothing but 25 minus MR square. What is MR square? MR square is 25 upon 2. That will be 25 upon 2. So our CM will become 5 upon root 2. This will be the value of CM. So CM is equals to MR. Right? CM is also equal to MR and that is equal to uh, QM also. So in the triangle QM, uh, sorry, CMR, these two sides, CM is equals to. So in triangle, if you see CMR, if you see this CM is equals to MR. And we know the, the angle uh, CMR, angle CMR is equals to 90 degree. So uh, the angles opposite to these two sides, that is angle uh, MRC, angle MRC is equals to angle MCR, okay, MCR, and that is equal to 45 degree basically. So if this uh, angle is 45 degree, if this angle is 45 degree, this will also be 45 degree. This will also be 45 degree, right? And this, uh, if these two triangles are 45 and 45, this angle will be 90 degree. This angle will be 90 degree. That is angle QCR is equals to 90 degree. Now, if you see the chord QR makes an uh, subtends an angle 90 degree at the center. This uh, this chord QR subtends an angle 90 degree at the center. Hence, the angle subtended by this chord at the circumference will be half. That is theta will be equal to that is theta will be equal to half of 90 degree. Right. This will be equal to half of 90 degree means half of uh, what is theta angle QPR angle QPR right angle QPR is half of uh, angle we can say let me write in this fashion let me raise this thing sorry this will be 45 degree MRC M R C yeah 45. So angle Q P R will be equal to half of angle Q C R. Angle subtended by the chord at center is double the angle subtended at the circumference. And we know the value of Q C R so that will be half of 90 degree. So this will be 45 degree. Or we can say pi by 4 in terms of radian. So uh, this will be our answer. Angle QPR will be uh, pi by 4. So option C is correct. Option C is correct for this. <clears throat> I have a struggle with this uh, board adjustment. Okay. Uh, let's take question number 10. If a circle is concentric with a circle x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y plus 9 equal to 0 and passes through the point this, then its equation is. Okay. If a circle is concentric with this circle. So it is given that the circle x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y plus 9 is equal to 0. The uh, one equation of circle is given here. Okay. And we have to uh, derive the equation of another circle which will be concentric with this circle and 
that circle will pass through the point minus 4 comma 5. So it says if anyway we can ident uh, we can uh, identify the center of this circle, right? How this 2g is equals to minus 4. So uh, g will be equals to minus 2 and this 2f is equals to minus 6, right? So f will be minus 3. Now what will be the center of this circle? The center of this circle will be minus g comma minus f. That is nothing but 2 comma 3. Okay. So now we have to find the equation of circle. Now we have to find the equation of circle whose center, whose center is 2 comma 3. Whose center is 2 comma 3 and which is passing through 1 point minus 4 comma minus 5. This is what is asked in the question. So here we know the center of the circle and we know the radius also. So we can easily find the, uh, we can easily find the, uh, what you say, equation of the circle, right? So if I join this point from here to here, it will be our radius. Okay. So this will be radius. Let me name it as uh, this point as O, OM. So our OM will be a radius okay and what will be that it will be equal to uh, 2 uh, or minus 4 minus 2 whole square plus minus 5 minus 3 whole square that is equal to or we can say r square because finally we need r square only so it will be a uh, minus 4 minus 2 6 whole square that will be 36 plus minus 5 minus 3 8 whole square that will be 64 so r square will be 100 okay and the center is 2 comma 3 so we can find the equation of circle how x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square is equal to r square so let's open it it will become x square plus 4 minus 4x plus y square plus 9 minus 6y is equal to r square. What is r square? r square is 100. So let me rewrite it as x square plus y square uh, minus 4x minus 6y plus 4, 9, 9 plus 4, 13 and minus 100, right? So it will be uh, minus 87 is equal to 0. So this is our required equation of circle x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y minus 87 is equals to 0. So option C is correct. Now let's take question number 11. It is saying if let AB be a chord of the circle x square plus y square is equal to r square subtending a right angle at the center. Then the locus of the centroid of triangle PAB as P moves on the circle is. Okay. Let me draw what is given in the question. So it is saying the circle is there. The circle is there. And uh, AB is one chord subtending a right angle at the center. Okay. So this is subtending an angle, right angle. This is subtending right angle at the center. Okay. And P, then the locus of the centroid of triangle PAB as P moves on the circle is okay so uh, let me take one point p here let me name it first a b b chord this is the chord a b okay this chord a b is subtending a right angle at the center okay right angle at the center so this is 90 degree and we are having a point p on the circle, so the we have to find the locus of centroid of triangle PAB. Okay, so let me uh, take point P here. Okay, 
So uh, this is P. Let me take it as P. So this P A B. This is the required triangle. This is the required triangle. And we have to find the centroid, like locus of centroid of this uh, uh, triangle. So let me write it as G and let me assume its coordinate as H comma K. Okay. So we have to find the locus of this uh, G as P moves on the circle. Like, like I'm taking P uh, right now here. P can be anywhere on the circle. P can be here also. Right, P can be here also. So uh, accordingly, we have to uh, find the locus of the centroid of the triangle PAB. Okay. And uh, the equation of circle is given as, equation of this circle is X square plus Y square is equal to R square. Okay. So center will be uh, origin. For this uh, uh, circle, center will be origin. So this uh, the coordinates of this C will be 0, 0, basically. And what is the radius? Radius is R. And since AC and uh, BC are perpendicular, so we can write the coordinates of B as uh, R, 0. Why? Because BC is equals to R. Only. It is the radius of the circle. And this AC is also R. So we can write the uh, coordinates of B as R, 0 and coordinates of O A as 0 comma R. Okay. And what will be the coordinate of P? What will be the coordinate of P? In parametric form, we can write the coordinate of P as R cos theta comma R sin theta. Hope you all are aware with this. If I join this uh, P point with center, it will be equal to radius and if that radius makes an angle theta with the positive x axis. So we can write the uh, coordinates of point P in parametric form as R cos theta comma R sin theta. Okay. So in triangle, if you see in triangle uh, PAB, in triangle PAB, what will be the uh, coordinates of point G? <coughs> means what will be the coordinates of point G? It will be, if we take x1, x2 and x3 as the uh, coordinates of the three vertices, normally we write the coordinates of G as x1 plus x2 plus x3 upon 3, comma y1 plus y2 plus y3 upon 3, where x1 y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3 are the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle. Okay. So in our case, what is x1? Suppose I'm taking this as uh, a as uh, x1, y1. Suppose I'm taking this as x1, y1. So it will be uh, 0 plus r and what is x3 plus r cos theta upon 3 comma uh, y1 is uh, R, what is I, Y2? R2 is 0 and Y3 is R sin theta upon 3. Okay. Now we have considered this, uh, the coordinates of point at G, H comma K. For finding locus, what we do? We uh, assume the uh, coordinates of that point and we try to build uh, the relation between H and K and the given uh, uh, condition, right? And then finally, after finding the uh, relation, we uh, replace this H and K by X and Y. So here we can see, here we can see this H is equals to, H is equals to R plus R cos theta upon 3. And Y is, sorry, this K is equals to, K is equals to R plus R sin theta upon 3. Okay. From here, if you see, uh, we can find the value of cos theta. Cos theta can be written as 3h, 3h minus r upon r. 3h minus r upon r. And similarly, we can write sin theta as 3k, 3k minus r upon r. Okay. And we know the uh, 
trigonometric identity sine square theta plus cos square theta is equals to one. So it will be sine square theta plus cos square theta is equals to one. Now, uh, in place of sine square theta, we can write three k minus r upon r whole square plus cos square theta can be written as three h minus r upon r whole square is equals to one. Okay. So opening this, we uh, get. Now we can replace this. Uh, what you say h and k by x and y replace h k by x and y okay so it will become 3 uh, y minus r upon r whole square plus 3 x minus r upon r whole square is equals to 1 okay now we will open it. It will become 9 y, 9 y square plus r square minus 6 r y plus 9 x square plus r square minus 6 r x is equals to r square. Right? So this basically represents a circle. This basically represents a circle. Why? Why this represents a circle? Because the uh, coefficient of x square and y square are equal and the coefficient of x, y is missing in this equation. So it represents a circle basically. Okay. So actually this is asking only the what that locus will represent. It is not asking the exact equation. So we could have uh, said it earlier also. But anyhow, we derived the equation finally. So it is it represents a circle. Now see this question number 12. Let P, Q and R S be tangents extremities of the diameter P, R. Okay. Let me draw it. is saying let PQ and RS be the tangents extremities of the diameter PR of a circle. Okay. Diameter is given as PR and PR of a circle of radius R if PS and RQ okay. This PS and RQ first let me uh, name it otherwise you will get confused. PR is the circle uh, diameter, right? So this will be P, this will be R. This is the diameter with center C. Now let PQ and RS be the tangent extremities. Okay. So this is PQ, this is RS of uh, diameter PR of circle. Now if PS and RQ intersect, this P, S and R, Q intersect at some point. That point is given as X on the circumference of the circle. Then the value of 2 R equals. Okay. So we, so we have to make that interaction point. Sorry, intersection point also. So this is there. And this is there. <laughs> it's, it's not meeting. So it's better that I draw it manually. It's better I draw it manually. So I'm erasing this, uh, sorry, what I'm saying, this P is this P S and this uh, Q R meet at a point X on the circumference of the circle. It's not proper. Drawing is not proper, but uh, you can manage this. This uh, P S and Q R is intersecting at point X on the circumference. Then we have to find the value of 2 R. 
Okay, this PR is the diameter. Okay, so this diameter will uh, subtend an angle ninety degree on the circumference, right? So this uh, this since this DR is uh, sorry uh, this PR is the diameter. This angle PXR PXR is, will be equal to ninety degree. Angle in the semicircle basically. Angle in the semicircle is uh, ninety degree. So uh, now, if you see, and what was asked actually, uh, question is asking to find the value of two r. Okay. So since this is ninety degree, and let me assume this angle as theta. So what will be this angle? This wing, this angle will be ninety minus theta basically. If I am assuming this angle as theta, angle p uh, x p r as theta, this will be ninety minus theta since angle p x r is ninety degree. Now I am applying this. In triangle PS, if you say triangle PSR, okay, in triangle PSR, we can write tan theta is equals to R S upon P R, okay, and in triangle Q P R, in triangle Q P R, if you say Q P R, tan of ninety minus theta will be equal to P Q upon P R. Right, PQ upon PR, and what will be tan ninety minus theta? It will be cot theta, no? So cot theta will be equal to PQ upon PR. So this is equation one. This is equation two. Let's multiply both the equations. We will get one is equals to this tan theta and cot theta will uh, result in one. So this will be PS upon PR into PQ upon PR. So we can write P R square is equal to P Q into R S. That is nothing but P R is equals to under root of P Q into P S. And what is P R? P R is the diameter of the circle that is equal to two R. So this was asked in the question. So this is our answer under root P Q into P S. So option A is correct. Now let's take the next question. Question number thirteen. So it is saying find the center and radius of the circle five x square. The equation is given as five x square plus five y square plus four x minus eight y minus sixteen is equals to zero. I have taken ah uh, sixteen to the left hand side. Now we have to find the center and radius of the circle. Okay. Now comparing this with the standard equation of circle, x square plus y square plus two g x plus two f y plus c is equals to zero. This is the standard equation of circle, right? Here, if you see, the coordinates of x square and y square are equal, and that is equal to one. That is equal to one. Then only we can say the center of this circle as minus g comma minus f, and the radius is equals to under root g square plus f square minus c. But the coefficients of x square and y square are equal, and they should they must be equal to one. So for making that uh, coefficient of x square and y square as one, I am dividing uh, this equation by five. So I get x square plus y square plus four upon five x. Minus eight upon five y minus sixteen upon five is equals to zero. Now here, if you say two g is equals to four by five, so g is equals to. I don't know. I, am I doing anything wrong? X square plus y square. I have divided whole thing by five. So four by five x uh, minus eight by five y minus sixteen by five equals to zero. So from here we get g as. Uh, Four upon ten, or we can cut it simply. No, okay. Let me write four upon ten. That is nothing but two upon five. And what is two f? Two f is equals to minus eight upon five. That is f is equals to minus eight upon ten. That is equal to minus four upon five. So the center to this circle will be minus g comma minus f. 
that is minus j is minus 2 by 5 and what is minus f minus f is 4 upon 5 so this will be the center of the circle this will be the center of the circle and what will be the radius radius will be under root g square plus f square minus c so put the value of g f and c here g square will be 4 upon 25 plus f square will be 16 upon 25 and what is c c is minus 16 by 5 so minus c will be plus 16 upon 5 that will become uh, LCM में 25 आ जाएगा, this 4 plus 16 plus 5, 16 5s are 80, so 80 base 100 upon 25, so radius will be equal, uh, so radius will be 10 upon 5, that is equal to 2, right, 10 upon 5 is equal to 2, so radius will be 2. Let's take the next question, question number 14. Prove that the centers of the circle x square plus y square equal to 1, x square plus y square plus 6x six, six minus 2y minus 1 equal to 0, and x square plus y square minus 12x plus 4y equal to 1 are collinear. So, uh, equations of, three equations of circle are given. Like we are having three circles. Okay, which are they? x square plus y square is equals to 1. The second circle is x square plus y square plus 6x minus 2y minus 1 is equals to 0. And our third circle is x square plus y square minus 12x plus 4y minus 1 is equals to 0. Now we have to find the centers of all these circles. And we have to prove that the, those three centers, those three points will be collinear. Okay. So first let uh, find the center of circle. What will be the center of this circle? The center of this circle will be 0, 0. It will be origin, right? From here we see uh, 2G is equals to 6. So G is equals to 3. And we see 2F is equals to minus 2. So F will be a minus 1. So center of this uh, will be minus g comma minus f that will be minus 3 comma 1 and what will be center for this 2g is equals to minus 12 so g is equals to minus 6 and 2f is equals to 4 so f is equals to 2 center of this circle will be minus g that is 6 and minus f means minus 2 so now we are having three points let me uh, take it as point a Let me take it as point B and let me take it as point C. Okay. Now we have to prove these three points. A, B and C are collinear. How can we prove? How can we prove that these three points are collinear? If we say the triangles formed by these three points, the triangles formed by these two points will be equal to zero. If we can say that, uh, if the... Uh, area of the triangle formed by these three points is coming out to be zero, then we can claim that these three points will be uh, collinear, right? Be because in that case, all the three points will lie on the same line. In that case, all the three points will lie on the same line and the area of the triangle will be zero. So let me uh, find the area of triangle ABC. Let me find the value of area of triangle ABC. Okay. So, what will be the area of triangle ABC? It will be half times x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2. Right? So, it will be equal to half times x1. I am taking this as x1. Suppose this one is x1, y1. This one is x2, uh, y2. This one is x3, y3. Okay. So uh, x1 is 0. So this will become 0. What is x2? x2 is minus 3. What is y3? y3 is minus 2. And y1 is 0. Then x3 is uh, 6. And what is y1? y1 is 0. Minus y2. y2 is 1. So it will be this. So half times 
minus three into minus two, this will be six, and six into uh, minus one, this will be minus six. So this is zero. Hence proved. Hence proved that all three points are pure collinear. Three points are three points are collinear. Right. So the uh, centers of all these three circles are collinear. Okay. <clears throat> now let's take question number 15. Find the equation of circle whose center is 1 comma 2 and which passes through the point of intersection of 3x plus y equal to 14 and 2x plus 5y equal to 18. Same type of question we have done earlier also where we have find uh, intersection point of this, right? Same question we have done earlier. So I am not going to uh, do this one just to give an idea. So find the equation of the circle. Its center is given as 1 comma 2, right? And it is go passing through the point of intersection of these two lines, right? So we know uh, let me say this is one line and this is one line. Okay. And let me say this is the point of intersection. 3x plus y minus 14 is equals to 0. Okay. 3x plus y minus 14 is equals to 0. And this is 2x plus 5y minus 18 is equals to 0. So let me uh, say this the point of intersection is P. Okay. We can solve it and uh, we can find the uh, value of P. So when, once this P is for, 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 once we know the coordinates of P, we can find the radius of the circle and we can write the uh, equation of the circle. Since this video is getting longer, so uh, please uh, try to solve it uh, by yourself. So if any problem still exists, you please tell me. We can discuss it and we can have, uh, like, we can uh, clear our doubts on this. So let's move to the next question, question number 16. Find the equation of the circle passing through the center of circle this and being concentric with the circle this. Okay. Like, it is saying we have to find the equation of circle passing through the center of the point this okay so one circle is equation of circle is given as x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y minus 8 is equals to 0 so we can find the center of this right this 2g is equals to minus 4 2g is equals to minus 4 so g will be minus 2 so center will be 2 and uh, this this will be 3 Right? So center is 2 comma 3 for this circle and being concentric with the circle. And one more equation is one more circle is given that is x square plus y square minus 2x minus 8y minus 5 is equals to 0. So what will be the center of this? Center of this will be 1 comma 4. Right. So now we have to find as equation of the circle. Passing through the center of the circle. Okay. So this will be the center. Let me say it as C1. And this is C2. Okay. So this one is, uh, let me say this one is C1 and this one is C2. The center I am expressing as C1 and C2. Not this. <clears throat> so, uh, Passing through the, so this required circle should pass through 2 comma 3, means this is C1. And the center of this, the center of this circle will be equal to this center, 1 comma 4. 
then only it will be concentric no with this circle and being concentric with the circle this okay so we can uh, find the uh, value, uh, equation of this circle how this will be equal to x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 4 whole square is equals to what will be r r square what will be r square r square will be uh, 2 minus 1 whole square plus 3 minus 4 whole square that will be uh, 3 minus 4 whole square 2 minus 1 whole square plus 3 minus 4 whole square that will be equal to r square that is nothing but 2 minus 1 1 plus 3 minus 4 1 2 so r square is equals to 2 so our equation required equation will be x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 4 whole square is equals to r square you can live as it is or you can also simplify and write the answer so this is our required equation uh, of the circle okay so let's move to next question question number 17 But it is saying prove that the locus of the center of the circle. So, prove that the locus of the center of the circle this half x square plus y square plus x cos theta plus y sin theta minus 4 equal to 0. Each x square plus y square means the locus of the center of uh, this circle will also be a circle having equation x square plus y square is equal to 1. Okay. So this is given as a half x square plus y square plus x cos theta plus y sin theta minus 4 is equals to 0. Okay. So here also we have to uh, make the coefficient of x square and y square equals to 1. Then only we can say the center of this set, uh, this circle will be minus j comma minus n. So let's multiply it by 2. We will get x square plus y square plus 2x uh, cos theta plus uh, 2y sin theta minus 8 is equals to 0. Okay. So from here we can say 2g is equals to 2 cos theta. Okay. So uh, cos theta is equals to g. And uh, from here we see a 2f is equals to 2 sin theta. So sin theta is equals to f. Okay. So uh, what will be center? What will be the center of this uh, uh, circle? That will be minus cos theta comma minus g comma minus f uh, comma minus sin theta. Okay. And we have to find the locus of the center of the circle. So this is center. Okay, let's let us uh, take it as h, and this is uh, as y. So we can say uh, h square plus k square is equals to cos square theta plus sine square theta. Okay. Now replace h and k by x. We can say uh, this will be x square plus y square is equals to one. So this will be the locus. Hence, it's proved. Hence, it's proved. This is what it is asked. The cent locus of the center of this uh, circle will be a circle having equation x square plus y square is equals to 1, which we have proved here. So, we are at the end of the uh, end of this exercise. Uh, this is the last questions of the uh, last question of exercise number 1. So, uh, let's do it. Find the equation of the following curves in Cartesian form. If the circle is a circle, then find its center and radius. Okay. So the coordinates x and give, uh, y are given as parametric form in parametric form. And we have to find the uh, equation of curve. And if this uh, curve represents a circle, we have to find its center and radius. 
So X is given as minus one plus two cos alpha. Okay, and Y is given as three plus two sine alpha. These two values are given. So from here we can say uh, cos alpha is equals to x plus one upon two, right? And from here we can say uh, sine alpha is equals to y minus three, y minus three upon two. Okay, let us assume this is equation one, this is equation two. Now squaring and adding both the equations, we got cos square alpha plus sine square alpha is equals to x plus one by two whole square plus y minus three by two whole square, right? So this is nothing but one, uh, or we can write it as x plus one whole square uh, by two square plus y minus three whole square upon two square is equals to one. Okay, so this is x plus one whole square plus y minus three whole square is equals to two square. So what is the center of this circle? Center of this circle will be minus one comma three. And what is radius? Radius is nothing but two. So this is our answer. Okay, the center of this circle will be minus one comma three and the radius of this circle will be two. So hope uh, this exercise is clear to all. Uh, sorry, this exercise took a bit long time, but we can't help. There were more questions in this. So, okay. Till then, uh, you be prepared for the next exercise and you try to solve it. Uh, uh, give an attempt by yourself first, then only you see the solutions. So, uh, so that uh, you can improve on the uh, what you so that we, you can improve on your workings okay so this is all for today uh, thank you all tab tak ke liye tata goodbye